All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports FC 24 career mode. Welcome back to a brand new season. We started up the season in the last video, but we haven't actually started the Premier League yet. We made a few signings. As you can see, this is what our squad is looking like right now. Pickford, Patterson, Alvedi, Branthwaite, Para, McTominay, Onana, Sudakov, Olise, Calvert-Lewin, Gananto. But we also have a really strong bench now with Evan Ferguson, Jack Harrison, Jurian Duranville, Deli Ali, James Garner, uh, Ben Godfrey, and James Tarkovsky. Ben Godfrey's been really good for us the last couple of games. Everton just drew 2-2 with Spurs in real life. I just watched the end of that game uh, on my phone in bed there. Um, well, lying on the bed, not in bed, because I was out for a really long walk this morning. So I was taking a rest before I started recording again. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this, man. This is going to be a, a blast, a new career mode on the horizon and, uh, well, it's not a new career mode, it's a new season. And I'm excited about it. We've done two seasons now without winning Jack. So this season, the goal is to win something, all right? We have a Merseyside Derby to start the season, which is quite incredible. Let's do this thing. It's happening right here, right now. The captaincy for the Liverpool fixture has been... They want Amadou Onana as captain, which is interesting. I've got a lot to think about, Jordan. What the hell? Why do they do this every time? Captain comes in like, where the hell is all the bloody transfers? I made load. I made some great transfers. All right. Now winning this Merseyside Derby at Anfield to start the season would be quite incredible. It would be quite a statement. Let's do the press conference to start the season. Thank you Get for the season us started today. off right here. Get the morale up. Let's go. We're, we're going to hope for the Europa League. All right. We'll be competitive for sure, boys. That's the goal. All right. Be competitive. Put ourselves in a position. Uh, it's up to the players to perform. Jack Harrison's going to get any chance to start if he plays well, you know? Oh, we're ready for the challenge. The boys know what they have to... I believe in my players. That's what I'm going to say. I believe in my players. All right, guys, we're out of time. But yeah, great game to watch, actually, Everton versus Spurs. Unfortunately, Richarlison did us dirty by, uh, by scoring two against us, but... I mean, Richarlison's a quality player. I'm not surprised by it, really. Um, he's top quality, and he scored two really good goals. But, uh, yeah, we didn't score the best quality goals, but I think overall our performance was really good, and we deserved something from the game. And that came in the 94th minute with a Jared Branthwaite equalizer. I thought for some reason that they were going to rule it out, but we got away with it. Um, well, to be fair, it was a perfectly good goal, but I, I, when it went to VAR, I was just like, oh no, they're going to disallow this 100%. But they didn't. And we're ready. Pedro Parra with the mullet right there. Alison Becker has a big old, uh, a big old poster up there. And Everton versus Liverpool is underway. Let's do this thing, boys. Come on, Blues. These are shit, these. Come on. A new season is upon us. Michael Elise, Sudakov. It's a whole new line, basically. How many Everton players do we have starting right now that start in Everton for Everton in real life? We have Onana. We have Patterson. He starts half the time, I would say. We have Pickford, of course. And we have uh, Branthwaite. Tarkovsky starts a decent amount as well, but I want to start getting Elvedi into the starting position ahead of Tarkovsky for the future. But and Evan Ferguson's been brought in now. Will he take the starting spot from Calvert-Lewin? McTominay gets tackled in the middle of the park. James Garner, of course, is one that will be kind of starting quite a few games as well. What a tackle by Branthwaite. What a tackle by Jared Branthwaite. He got the winner earlier against Spurs in real life. And he saves a goal here against Liverpool early on. And now here's Michael Alise. Look at this. Look at him go. Michael Alise cuts inside. Michael Alise goes for it. Allison saves. And that's really Alise's first chance in an Everton shirt. He doesn't quite take advantage of it. But that is potentially a sign of things to come for Michael Alise over on that side. I think he's a quality player. And I think we've made a good choice in signing him. Yes, Willie G, lad. Good interception by Willie Gananto. Look at him go. He's still going, Willie G. Go on, sunshine. Oh, what a save by Allison! What a save by Allison! Oh my God, I thought that was going to be 1-0 Everton. We've started the season on the front foot, I'll tell you that much. We've had the better of the chances so far. And we are outplaying Liverpool early doors here. This is what we need, but we need to score. That's the main thing. We need to score, man. Luis Diaz, I'm scared of him. Great tackle by Alvedi, though. The defending's been good so far. 
Diaz. Oh no, Diaz is done me. It's a penalty. Oh my God. Another. How many penalties do I give away? What? Why do I always get done in by this shit? Is this really that much of a last man situation here? Where this is going to be a red card? Let's have a look here. Like... It's a foul, but I'm not sure that's a red card, to be honest. Maybe. 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 Tarsh. Oh, my God. And they've nearly scored from the follow-up. We need to get a centre-back on the pitch, I just realised. All right, we need to make a we need to make a substitution immediately. I'm gonna bring on Godfrey, and I'm gonna bring him on for who? Uh, I guess we'll sacrifice Sudakov. Bloody hell, we'll have to sacrifice our CAM, I think. Sorry, Sudakov, but uh, well, this won't hurt has me, to be done. Ganonto does really well against Van Dijk. He puts Van Dijk on his ass. Calvin Lewin, yeah. One nil to the Toffees. Ganonto sent Van Dijk to the nether realm. And Dominic Calvert Lewin scores. It's one nil at Anfield. Ten men Everton take the lead. Look at that. He's done Van Dijk dirty. And then just does the scumbag goal to Calvert Lewin. It's beautiful. If you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code Apex Sound. You get 20% off your next order in any order going forward. Really appreciate it. I might have a cool opportunity coming up with Rogue soon, but give it a shot. See what you think. Calvert Lewin scores in the first game of the season. He was unlucky not to get his goal today. It was actually accredited to Harrison after. Everyone was saying it was Dom at first, but uh, the goal was given to Harrison in the end. Um, so a Dom assist Harrison goal. And yeah, it's, a, it's unfortunate because I think Dom needed that goal more than Harrison did. Great tackle by Onana. Go on, go for it again. Oh, nearly. Liverpool are, uh, are playing with fire here. Oh my God, what a goal that is. How did he get the power shot off that quickly? I feel like I was right in front of him and he got it off just in one second. Like, look at this. He gets the ball. Power shot. Yeah, Godfrey went the opposite way. Ah, that's a shame. That's a crying shame, that is, son. 1-1 one, one already. We didn't uh, hold on to our lead as well as we might have. But it is what it is. Ganonto's tearing Liverpool apart here on the left side, which is good to see. Look at that. He's absolutely doing him in. Willie G's on fire. He gets past... <laughs> he got past him again. And here's Scott McTominay now. You know he'd love a goal against Liverpool. Look at this. Dancing his way through. What a bloody run from McTominay. And what a save by Allison in the end. Really, really good. Gakpo's just going for it every time he gets it. It's nearly coming off every single time. Bloody hell, mate. McTominay's ball, please. Pickford's ball, Pickford's ball. We're A-OK, -okay, baby. We're A-OK. -okay. Ah, lads, this is ridiculous. I can't get the ball out at all. And quick thinking defensively. Patterson finds Calvert Lewin. It's half time. 1 1. We'll take it. We'll take it. Great tackle by Onana. Really good. Defending's been on point so far. We've been, we've been clutch at the defending. But what a save! Oh my god, what a save from Jordan Pickford. Wow. That is up there with one of the best saves I've seen in EAFC, man. Can someone get on the end of this? Bloody hell, they're just relentless, like. Relentless with chance after chance after chance, and they win every header as well. And Van Dyke gives the lead to Liverpool. Fuck's sake, man. Makes up for his earlier error, I guess. Look at that. Ginanto's absolutely class, by the way. He's so good. Look at him go. He's so good. Dude, he should have finished that, though. But my God, his... It, his quick feet are magic. I can't lie. I think I deserve something from this so far. Based on the performance so far, I, I, I think Liverpool are lucky to be ahead. Even with 10 men. That is magical! From Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Willie G at the heart of it again. What a goal from TCL. He's at the double. It's magical. Willie Ginanto can be proud as well, man. That was beautiful from Willie G. Finds Calvert-Lewin. Look at this, though. Calvert-Lewin just takes his time a little bit and smashes home after that. Brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. 
Brilliantly done. Dominic Calvert-Lewin at the double at Anfield. It's got to feel good. Well, get a try. Just couldn't get it through. Oh, you're fucking joking. I press. I was holding square for Jordan to clear it, and he takes a fucking touch. Like, come on, man. What is this game about sometimes? It's so ridiculous that that's how we're going to fucking concede. My God. Like, look at this. I, I press square here to try and clear it. It goes back to Pickford. I, I was holding square here. And he takes a fucking touch with his knee and, like, hams it into Salah, right, basically. It's a fucking assist from Pickford. Like, some of the shit that happens in this game, to me, is genuinely beyond belief. Like, I struggle to believe it sometimes. I hope I didn't make a mistake bringing Willie G up, because I feel like he was brilliant. But hopefully Duranville can do, do the business. He finds Evan Ferguson. Evan Ferguson cuts inside. Ferguson! What a save by Allison! What a save by Allison! If this game is anything to go by, this season is going to be magical, boys. Hold on, Duranville. Come on, sunshine. Sunshine and rainbows. Let's go, Jurian. Let's go, son. Can they use their pace? This could level it. Oh my God! How have you not scored, Evan Ferguson? How have you not scored? That could have been a debut of your dreams to equalise against Liverpool at Anfield, and you've bot bottled it terribly. Like that is such a tame shot. I should have gone across the goal. Allison was actually all the way out there. That's what kind of put me off. Allison was all the way out that side of his goal. If I'd gone across the goal, it's a goal 100%. But we have. No more time left, unfortunately. It's going to be a loss in the first game of the season. It feels harsh. It feels very, very harsh. It feel, well, I, I just feel very hard done by it. Even with, though we had 10 men, I don't think we deserve to lose, to be perfectly honest. Like, we didn't deserve to lose. But we did. And that's football. 3-2. Hey, you should be retired by now, you prick. All right. That's disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. It's a good game, but uh, disappointing to lose that. Calvert-Lewin's the man of the match. Willie Ganonto should have been, in my opinion, but Calvert-Lewin did have the, the two goals, in fairness. So we'll take it on the chin and we'll move on. Tough first game to start with against Liverpool away. So I'll be looking for results going, results going forward. Forrest are up next. All right, Nico Alvedi is suspended, so Tarkovsky will come in. Calvert-Lewin's not happy about being subbed off. Subbed off. Wow, I need you fit, man. Come on. Bigger games. He wants to start already. But I think Calvert-Lewin deserves to keep his place after two goals. Right, I think the only change I'll make really is uh, Tarkovsky in for Elvedi. Or maybe I'll put Godfrey in. Right, we'll go with this team here. Pickford, Patterson, Godfrey, Branthwaite, Para, Onana, McTominay, Sudakov, Calvert-Lewin, Olise, and Ginanto. Ginanto's a little bit tired, so we'll have Duranville come on for him at some point throughout this game. All right, come on, Blues. Come on, Blues. These are shit, these. Live from the city ground. We're starting with two away games in a row, which just doesn't make any sense at all. But take it on the chin and go again. Oh, a tackle, Branthwaite. Huge tackle by Branthwaite. He's been brilliant so far. Don't give a penalty for that. Thank you. Oh, Nana. Chests it down. Finds Calvert-Lewin beautifully. Calvert-Lewin over the top nearly finds Ganonto. That would have been sensational. Win that, Onana. Come on, lads, for God's sake. But Elise wins it back, though. Look at that. Elise finds Sudakov. Sudakov cuts inside. He has nowhere to go, though. He finds Onana. Onana to Ganonto. Ganonto turns his man beautifully. Willie G. Oh, what a save. Willie G. Nearly from that angle. It was always going to be tough, but he forced the save out of him. Good save. Let's try a little bit of a, a swinger here. Oh, it's worth the go. It's worth the go from the edge of the box. I had so much time there. But okay. I'll take it. Brilliant from McTominay. Sensational turns. And here's Onana. Onana finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin to Sudakov. Sudakov. Oh. Look at that from... Look at that from Willie G. It's brilliant from this young man. He's been sensational. It's a poor pass, though. It's a really poor pass. I, I should have waited a little longer. Just sensational from Onana, though. Onana finds Calvert-Lewin. Look at well, that from Onana. Just a one-stepper. Finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin through for Sudakov. Sudakov, yes! He starts the season off right this time. He had a torrid time last season. But it's a brilliant goal from Sudakov there. It's brilliant from Dom as well. He's been sensational so far this season. It's a great assist from Dom. It's a beautiful finish from Sudakov. An Everton lead. It was really good from Onana as well, to be honest. But great pass there. The timing of it was perfect. And Sudakov takes his time, sets it up, and bottom corner, Everton lead 1 0 against Forrest. Get in there. Come on. Hammond. 
Great tackle by McTominay. Really great tackle by Scott McTominay. Finds Sudakov. Brilliant from Sudakov over the top to Willie G. Willie G heads it down to Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin tries to slip it through to Olise. I should have just gone myself, I think. Oh. No. Good save, Pickford. Well done, Branthwaite. Holy shit, that was close. Very close to being 1-1. That was really their first chance of the half, to be honest. It would have been terrible to concede right before halftime after all that. He read the situation and here's Elise. Finds Sudakov. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Sudakov over the top finds Elise. It's brilliant. He's over the top. Uh, through balls have been brilliant so far. Sudakov! Wide. All right, we're at the goal. Halftime, 1-0 to the toffees. Let's go. Well, Spurs have been Intercepted by Sudakov. Here's Gananto. Can he get past this man? Line, you know he can. Well, Willie G to uh, Calvert Lewin. Sudakov, what am I doing? Penalty! How's that not a penalty? He just bloody uplifted Sudakov. He bloody sumo slammed him. How's that not a pen then? Bloody hell, son. Calvert Lewin to Patterson. Is he onside? Oh, it's worth a go. Patterson at the near post. Nearly scores. We're all over them now. We're all over them. McTominay, worth a go. He's going for his goal. Matoma coming on. Did I sell him to Forrest? Was that the... Was that who I... Yeah, I think it was who I ended up selling him to. Because uh, he couldn't bloody get fit. Look at that. Like, that's what I mean. Like, we're just sailing past people. And now it's Elise... Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's 2-0. Michael Elise scores for Everton. 2-0 to the Toffees. And we go marching on here. What a goal. What a goal by Elise. It's brilliant. Sudakov, that's what I was talking about. Look at that pass, though. He left the space open. Elise entered that space and dispatched of that absolutely perfectly. Well done, Elise. Well done, the Toffees. It's looking like we're going to be marching on to victory. We'll make a couple of substitutions now. Duranville for Gananto and Harrison uh, for Olise as well. No, no, no. Jurian Duranville, my friend. He's going across the whole pitch, so he is. Cuts inside. Jurian Duranville. Oh, I tried to find Ferguson, but not quite. All right, full time. 2 0. Brilliant performance for the Toffees. We thoroughly deserved all three points. And we got them. What a win. And uh, yeah, we move on with a win and a loss so far this season. I feel like that win was brilliant, though. Look at that. 1.8 expected goals to 1. So I guess it's not that extreme of a performance. But Sudakov, look at that. Man of the match. I said he'd been struggling. He has a clear man of the match performance here. 9.0. Michael Elise, Calvert Lewin, Jordan Pickford all had good games as well. Let's do the post match interview, baby. Uh, I, I mean, Elvedi's only suspended, not injured, unless he got injured while he was suspended, which would be a little bit strange. It's always about hard work. Hard work, son. We're delighted. We, de we defended really well, and that gave us the platform, and that's a fact. That's it. Thanks Thank you very much. much, lady. A new season is upon us. And we have Walsall next in the Carabao Cup. Okay, cool. A little Carabao Cup match to finish off. He's not even starting for us right now. So if we could get a decent amount for him right now. Let's negotiate here. Who is it that's offering? Palace? I guess they're trying to replace Elise. That makes sense. That makes sense, actually. How about you give us Eberetje Eze? <laughs> that would be hilarious if we just took Eberetje Eze. Our budget's still pretty high, man. We could, we could try this. Try get Eze, Eze in the deal, because... I mean, we have Sudakov, though. Sudakov just started playing well now. I don't want to mess up that rhythm. So let's just try to get money. We can kind of figure it out from there. 18 million, pal. How about it? Oh, they just said yes to 18 million, right? Like that. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. In Work hard, Revan. All right. Wow. Okay, maybe we could look at making some more signings here, dude. I don't know. Garnacho plays for Leeds now? What the hell? That's a bit of a strange one. I'm not sold on Pedro Para. I might try signing my boy Kieran Tierney. I'll say one million. Oh, okay. Usually you have to. Okay, well they said yes. <laughs> they said yes. Kieran Tierney, you're coming to the Toffees, lad. All right. From West Ham to the Toffees, mate. He wants to be crucial. That's fine by me, cause he will be. He wants three years. That's fine by me. 
Alright, is he gonna be a greedy? Are you gonna be greedy now, Kieran? Let's see. Alright, salary. He's on 72,000. So you know what? I'll give him a nice little 72,000. I'll stick with his wage, but I'll give him a signing on bonus of 300,000. How about that, Kieran? How's that sound? He's reasonable. Reasonable. He loves it. All right, Kieran, lad, welcome to the Toffees. Get in there, son. Pedro Para, I don't know. It's like, he never really wowed me in any capacity. Like, he was always just okay, I feel like. He didn't really do much for us. He was up to an 81, sure, but... Kieran Tierney's an 82 already. I probably won't be doing too many more seasons, so it doesn't really matter how much potential uh, each, of, each of them has. Probably can manage maybe one or two more seasons before the new game comes out. Tierney number five. He'd probably be number three. Kieran Tierney does love a shark tucked in, doesn't he? Right, let's have a look here and just see, is there anywhere we really need to strengthen? Goalkeeper, we have Pickford, we have Virginia. That's fine. Right back, we have Patterson, and we have Godfrey as cover. Um, so that's completely fine as well. Patterson just went up to a 78, by the way. Center back, we have Alvedi, we have Cal uh, Branthwaite, we have Tarkovsky, we have uh, Branthwaite, or we have Godfrey. That's fine. Left back, Tierney now. And also we have Belosian, uh, Sentiments, McTominay, Onana, and Garner. That's fine. CAM is probably our weakest position at the moment with Deli Ali and Sudakov. Left wing, we have Gananto and we have Duranville. Uh, right wing, we have Olise. I suppose maybe we could sign one more winger. If Harrison's leaving, replace him. If Harrison's leaving, we could replace him with another winger. Maybe Jack Clark. We'll have a look. All right, time for Walsall. Let's do this thing. Let's do a little bit of a... Kind of a, a weakened side, I suppose. It's Walsall. We should be beating them, no problem. So I'll put Virginia in. He deserves a start. We'll put Dobbin in. Left wing. I'll put Duranville right. I'll put Deli Alley in. I'll put Evan Ferguson in. We'll put James Garner in. All right, this is the team I'm going with. Virginia, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Godfrey, Belosian, McTominay, Garner, Alley, Duranville, Ferguson, and Dobbin. It's been red versus blue in every game so far. I just noticed that. Liverpool versus Everton, Forest versus Everton, and Everton versus Walsall. All right, first cup game of the season. We're looking for cup glory this season, so we don't want to go too weak. James Tarkovsky looking good, and the Toffees are looking for a W here to start the season. To start the cup season, that is. The, the Scarves are out, Tarkovsky's ready. Walsall, are they going to be up for the occasion? Let's find out. Come on, Blues! Right, Evan Ferguson, time to show your worth now. Calvert-Lewin's had a brilliant start to the season, so you really need to be on the top of your game if you want to get some minutes in here. Dobbin cuts inside. Let's make a statement here. Come on, Lewis Dobbin, lad. Great tackle by Godfrey. Brilliant tackle by Godfrey, and Lewis Dobbin can attack now. That guy slid, slid in from nine miles away. What the hell was that slide tackle? <laughs> That was hilarious. He slid in like 10 miles too early, genuinely. The delivery. Oh my God. Oh my God. How the hell are they not 1-0 up is the question. How the hell are they not 1-0 up? Oh my God. What? A, I don't know who cleared it off the line. It's a penalty. For God's sake. Look at this ref. He's built like a bloody well, weightlifter. Card, just a warning and a fair few Let's see this now. I don't know about this. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. I guess. I guess. Some of these penalties are just ridiculous. Come on, Virginia. Make yourself a hero. No. Ote, 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 Ote. Ote scores. 1-0 to Walsall. <laughs> Jesus. Ferguson! Good save. Good save. All right. Come on, let's get into this thing now. Scotty Mack, put it on someone's Over noggin, son. Well, of a win that, Duranville, win that. Ah, ref, penalty. Duranville Linton finds Patterson. Patterson. Pat oh, fuck's sake. An alert intervention. Great tackle from, uh, from Scott McTominay. Finds Evan Ferguson, but they get back so quickly. They get bodies around the ball so quickly, Scott I find. McTominay. McTominay finds Deli Alley with a really good pass, actually, but uh, come on, lads. It's going to be an injury. Ooh. Sturk, what a name, eh? Sturk. Oh, Evan Ferguson has so much room here. No way you haven't scored, Evan. Evan Ferguson's had a disastrous start to his Everton career. He's missed a few chances now, but that is the biggest one of the lot. That is shockingly bad. And here he has another chance. Penalty. It's wide, but it's a penalty. All right, a penalty apiece. Jesus, Lord Almighty! Deli Ali has the short air again. 
Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few. That's that's not much either, to be honest. Well, the stuff they give penalties the for in this game is yes, ridiculous. Card, no. I think I'm going to give it to Evan Ferguson. Penalties are 70. Deli Halley's 81, really. I'm going to give it to Evan Ferguson anyway. He deserved. He won the penalty. He deserves to try and score. An opportunity to level matters. Yes, lad! Evan Ferguson gets his first Everton goal and celebrates the young Irishman with Deli Alley and Nathan Patterson. Brilliant stuff. A good goal. A good penalty, I should say, but he had a couple of chances beforehand and didn't take them. But he takes that. And his first Everton goal is in the Carabao Cup. And it's an important one to get us back on level terms with Walsall. I, I'm actually getting sick of Deli Ali's hair. That's one thing that makes me want to never play him again. Like seeing his hair with the dreads and then zooming in and he doesn't have the dreads. It's ridiculous. I'm actually thinking about swap, doing a swap deal with fucking Barkley or something just to get rid of that. Barkley just scored for Luton again, I think. Get Deli Ali go here. Deli Ali. Back to Duranville. What a save. Oh, bloody hell. What a save. Half time, 1 1. Yeah, Ross Barkley just scored for Luton to get them to 2 2 against Newcastle. So Everton just got out of the relegation zone, but we might be back into it. Um, due to Ross Barkley. <laughs> oh, our former players haunting us today with Ross Barkley and Richardson. Good tackle by Garner. Start the second half strong now and really get on, get after this, all right? McTominay finds Duranville. Really good from Duranville. Really good from Duranville. Look at him go. Duranville! Oh, what a goal! From Jurian Duranville. That's magic. In off the crossbar. That was sensational. What a goal, lads. Yes. Look at this one. That's goal of the season so far. It's magic is what it is. Look at this. Dur Duranville just decides, you know what? I'm going to do it all myself. Bang. What a man. What a man. Come on. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal. Two one to the toffees. We're going marching on in the cup, baby. So the Let's make it three now. Because I don't want to risk it now. Because if we go back to 2 2 and I've brought on all the youngsters, chance. I'll be a little bit worried. Really that is a really good ball into Ote. Ote, 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 Ote. Oh, Ote, Ote. Ote. Dobbin finds Deli Ali. Deli Ali, what a save! Oh, great save. And Deli Ali's here, switches mid scene again. City. Patterson finds Ferguson. Ferguson onto Duranville. Duranville cuts inside. He still has it somehow, Duranville. McTominay out to Patterson. Patterson blocked down. Come on, let's make it 3 1 so I can make some changes here, boys. Come on. Ali. Ferguson. Ferguson into the Dobbin. Oh, what a bloody save that is. What a save that is. Good tackle. Wonderful good block. good interception by Tarkovsky. Good save by Virginia. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ, lads. What are we doing here? This is Walsall. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant from Duranville. Finds Evan Ferguson. Can Evan Ferguson get another one? Ferguson saved. All right, I'm going to make a, a couple changes here now. I'm going to bring on some of the youngsters anyway. I'm going to bring on Philip O'Brien. And we'll just go with that for now. Just Philip O'Brien on for Deli Alley. Because Deli Alley's hair is pissing me off anyway. You know what I mean? Brilliant interception well by Tarkovsky. Ferguson. Oh, look at the size of Philip O'Brien. <laughs> I suppose he is only 16, but Jesus, he's tiny. Here he is now, Philip O'Brien. Go on, sunshine. <laughs> he's tiny. <laughs> That's honestly hilarious. Oh, that's game over. Game over. Get in there. It's a 2-1 win. Not as comfortable as we would have liked. But we played a lot of the youngsters. And we got the W anyway. A big win for the Toffees, baby. Let's go. Let's have a look at those uh, performances. Edmund Ferguson, man of the match. Duranville had a good game. Godfrey McTominay had good games as well. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's not a perfect performance, but we're through. We're in the hat for the next round. And that's all that matters when it comes to these cup matches, you know. 
Uh, Man City on four points. Uh, we are on three. But only a couple of games left. So, let's see. Jack Harrison's gone. All right. Let's try and replace him. 18 million. I'll try and replace him with something similar. Like, I think if we brought in Jack, uh, Jack Clark to replace Jack Harrison, I think it would be an improvement. And a much younger player as well, you know? I feel like I could do with having someone like Andre Archie Gray as well. Because he is like cover for the whole pitch, really, you know? His cover for the whole pitch would be bloody ideal for what we need right now. Because we don't have, like, we have our starting centre mids. And then we have one sub who we're kind of, like, rotating. But we don't have someone like an actual proper sub. Like, if McTominay or Onana or Garner got injured, we'd be in trouble. And then if we're selling Deli Ali as well, which I plan to... Archie Gray could play center attacking mid, he can play CDM, he can play center, he can play a variety of positions. So I'm going to try and sign Archie Gray. I'm going to start with an offer of 7 million because I, I feel like his market value is 4.7, but they, they get crazy if you offer their market value somehow. Okay, yeah, no, that's it. Easy, light work. Oh, shit. People are asking about Gray. Interesting. They consider our initial demand too high. I would have accepted anything, man. Are you kidding me? All right, it's match day. We'll be back and making some transfers in the next video. We might sign Jack Clark. We might sign Archie Gray. We'll see what happens. Thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll be back. We'll be playing Man City and continuing on our career mode here in the next video. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Hope you had a good one. Peace out. See you next time.